The U.S. Supreme Court will allow the Youngkin administration to continue to remove possible non-citizens from the voting rolls. Governor Youngkin is applauding the unsigned provisional ruling, while the three voter advocacy groups who brought a suit to stop the purge say naturalized U.S. citizens have been disenfranchised. The coalition members say the number of people affected may be even more than the 1,600 acknowledged by the state, adding they have not heard of an actual non-citizen being struck from the rolls, nor has an ineligible person ever been prosecuted for voting illegally. They say the Supreme Court ignored federal law, which mandates a 90-day quiet period for such actions before elections. But Youngkin says the ruling will instill confidence in Virginia's voting apparatus and thank those who made the case for his administration. And well, of course, that just provides further, further comfort across the Commonwealth that this election will be secure, it will be accurate, it will reflect the will of the voters and the work that has gone on by our great elections teams in order to, to provide that is a first stop for me to say thank you to all the teams on the ground. Sending a disturbing message and uh, that our voices are not valued and not wanted and not American. You have questions about uh, whether non-citizens are voting, and the evidence is absolutely zero. Um, the state has suggested that um, they have removed thousands of, of uh, non-citizens from the rolls, but they have never, ever uh, shown an example of a single incident of a non-citizen that has actually voted in any election. The voter groups remind anyone whose registration has been purged that they can register the same day they vote and they'll cast a provisional ballot. They say if you need assistance or more information, call the Election Protection Hotline at 866-OUR-VOTE.